This is a page from App I've designed and I want to add an audio file that plays when I do an action. So this is quite simple, so it won't take very long to go through. So firstly, we need to find some music we want. Now this is in SoundCloud. I search for something, go for tracks, go to uh, the to share button, which is Creative Commons, and then make sure I choose to share, which means that I can share any songs in this page completely free, as long as I reference the artist. The link to the artist is in the description below. So I go on to more and I download the file. I've actually already downloaded it, it's in my download file. So here we are. To put it into InDesign, you go File, Place, then select the file you have, which is of own or un ah, of unknown origin one MP3. So there it is, and you click open. So just like with if we put an image in, our cursor has changed. You can see that there is a speaker attached to my cursor. So I'm going to just draw to marquee just below our um, logo there. So the file music file is now in the actual document. So how do we get to play? So there's a few ways of doing it. Um, you can click on media and you can say play on page load and stop on page turn. So as soon as you enter the page, music's playing. And as soon as you leave, it's going to stop. Uh, you can loop it so it keeps going round and round and round. And that can be kind of really good. And you can also choose an image to go over that whole space. So I've said, you know, standard. We get a little uh, microphone, uh, sort of speaker sound. If I choose post to be a choose image, I can design one myself and put it in. It could be anything you like, but I'm going to choose none, and you'll see why in a bit. Now, also I'm going to choose select on that and just drag this to be full width, and you will see why in a minute. So we've got the order file in there. It's not going to um, play on load or stop and page turn. I want to have it controlled. It's a bit like an Easter egg. So how do I do this? I click on my logo there at the top, which I want to become button, and I choose the buttons and forms. Now, by the way, if you haven't got the side menu and you want to see it, it's really easy to bring up. Just go Windows, Workspace, Interactive for PDF. Now, normally you have Essentials turned up at the start, we're doing Interactive, so there we are. So we'll click on Buttons and Forms, um, select our logo. On the drop down here, select Button, which means we can control something with it. So. Our event is on release or tap, which is exactly perfect for an interactive um, EPUB such as this. Then we've got to give it an action. We click on the plus arrow and we go to sound. Now there's only one sound on the, on the page, so it's going to give us that one automatically. If you have three or four songs on the page, so if it was a band website, then you select the song you want that button to play. So we're good for that. And the options is plays. Now we could say play and pause, or we could do other things, but play is exactly what we want. And that's pretty much it, so let's go and have a look at this. So firstly, let's save this. Always save your work before you do anything, because you never know what's going to happen. File, export. Let's go to desktop, and let's go get this sound test. EPUB fixed layout, that's perfect. And I've got this menu open here. I only want to have this page, so page two of my app. Normally you do the all pages, but I'm just doing page two. And click OK. So we've then got iBooks opened up, and it's opened up on my other screen, so bring it across here. Let's shrink the window to fit the page. That looks better. And you'll see that the sound area, which I made much wider, is this black bar there. So it's actually got an audio um, part. So we can click play by just clicking on the heart. And you see at the bottom the scroll bar is going across there. We've got some volume here we can play around with. Now in this case actually it's too wide. So I'm going to close it down. It's because the scroll, the area where you choose next page or back page is a bit too far. So I'd probably bring it down to about there and center it to the page. Um, you can play around with it, but this way we've taken an audio file, downloaded it from SoundCloud, imported it into the InDesign document, and turned a button in a logo into a button which activates the sound. You can also have it where pressing somewhere else stops it, and that is how simple it is.